Maybe Lindo can learn a thing or two from Marion Fonte. You know, a, a jack of all trades. Bring all three of them out. Big look to you. I do. There's another individual that is impulsive and selfish and unpredictable. White trash maniac, relentless Ron Mathis getting in everybody's face. Mathis beat Ricky Shane Page, no disqualification to earn this title opportunity, but the man behind him, Chris LaRusso, is instrumental in Mathis doing so, Russo hurling that uh, bundle of light bulbs, light tubes, into Richard Jane Page's skull. And Mathis claims he's the toughest guy, he's the craziest guy in Cleveland wrestling now because he silenced Ricky Shane Page. Well, there's not a lot of people that have ever silenced Ricky Shane Page even for a moment. And Ron Mathis, the, the man that may be one try short of that. But will Mathis become the next premier champion? And how would that change this organization if it was to happen? Well, I don't think you're going to see Ron Mathis in a suit representing the company at corporate events. I don't think uh, that would bode well for you. Look at LaRusso. He's all about his meal ticket. LaRusso's won of this championship since day one. He was unsuccessful against the Palace. It looks like he's going to live vicariously through Mathis as we see the man who's carried the banner since day one, the very first and still current premier champion, the Spasmanian Devil, Andrew Palace. The man that makes coffee look calm. Andrew Palace is so much energy, so much fire, so much desire. We've seen him survive J-Rock. We've seen him survive Gannon Jones Jr. We've seen him survive Gory and Kincaid and so many on down the line and still reigns proudly. What is, uh, it, what is it about Andrew Palace that makes him so hard to prepare for in your estimation? Well, he's a constant ball of energy. He's a constant ball of, of movement. There, there's no pause, there's no wear down, there's no stopping Andrew Palace. And if there's a guy that can throw it to, to Andrew Palace to shut him down, it may just be Ron Mathis. We've seen what he's gone through. We've seen him against Gory, Chris LaRusso, Crimson. We've seen what happens when Andrew Palace gets focused. And I don't know if Mathis is the guy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Premier Championship. I don't know if Mathis is that guy with Pops. Introducing first is the challenger. We are accompanied to the ring by Chris LaRusso. I don't know if Ron Mathis is the guy that can, can slow down Andrew Palace and stop him, but all you got to do to win that championship is hold a man down for three seconds. Ron Mathis is certainly capable of that. Think about everything we have seen him do since he's been here in Premier. And well, well I, I guess you can add that to the list. You certainly can, for better or worse. Mathis uh, maybe marking his territory a little bit. Well, you know, he is like a pit bull. Referee Troy Davis better make sure that Mathis doesn't take a bite out of those pants and rip them to shreds or, or lift his leg on them or whatever else. Well, yeah, Mathis already ripped his own pants. And Mathis wants to fight. We've seen Mathis in lawless situations. We've seen Mathis in crazy situations. Ricky Shane Page, Dale Patrick's eight-man tags, uh, pre-match attacks, post-match attacks. Mathis is not confined and conformed to the rules very often, and he wouldn't have it any other way as Mathis starts things out with a brawling mentality, as one might expect. And this is a dynamic, this is a challenger of which Andrew Palace has not faced a type of thus far in his career here at Premier Championship Wrestling. 
You know, talking about a ball of energy in Andrew Palace, that's how I describe him. I think you've got a ball of crazy in Ron Madness. And I don't know, as much as I love Chris LaRusso, I don't know if Chris LaRusso can, can control that and can, can focus and channel that energy, that little, little screw loose crazy that Ron Madness brings. Pull that long hair out! Did he just say who has long hair now? I think he threatened to pull it out. Ah, it's that inner ear infection right again, Joe. You ain't nothing, pretty boy! Oh. <laughs> this is just angry. I mean, I understand being angry at Andrew Palace. Just look at him, but just irrationally angry all the time. And on the, on the outside, it's Chris LaRusso very calmly looking on at what you have to partially say is his creation, what he unleashed in Premier Championship Wrestling. And then the background of that, Marion Fontaine looking on disapprovingly. Fontaine, it's almost like he's uh, made himself the judge and the critic of this matchup. He's Cisco, he's Ebert, he's everything rolled into one because Fontaine doesn't think that Premier Championship Wrestling's roster holds up to his accomplishments. Pretty big uh, inflated sense of self, I would say. As Palace now battles back on Mathis, the forearm strikes in the corner. Well, they always say the previous establishment, the previous generation always thinks that they did it better. Premier has a heck of a roster here. I'm not going to compare and contrast. I would like to go over the time that they settled this thing. But we'll, we'll do that another time. Yeah, that, that's a whole other issue. I mean, any ardent fans can look for that on YouTube if they want to see Fontaine's past, his issues with me and management and critics and. Kevin Nash and all, all sorts of incredible things Fontaine's done in his career. Fontaine's had an awesome career. I'm not going to doubt that or deny that. And Matha stole the bell. Well, well, I don't think he's looking for a second career as the, the timekeeper. Mathis is obviously frustrated. Uh, it's like they say, Joe, what the hell? Oh, wait, oh, wait a second. Wait, hey. That's, that's, that's an air freshener that was at the timekeeper table. Well, you know, sometimes maybe he felt that Andrew Palace wasn't quite fresh. Maybe he felt that there's a little bit of stench coming off of that and hair. He sprayed him in the eye. Well, he, he missed. He was aiming for the hair. Palace can't see, and, Pal and now Bathurst taking over. Pal Palace, his body gets rocked on the edge of that ring frame where a metal meets wood, no give, and the crazed eyes of Ron Mathis, with the help of the LaRusso distraction, has absolutely turned this matchup upside down, and Palace is defenseless. Aw, oh, pretty Andrew Palace with his pretty hairs. Is it going to be able to see? Aw, oh, wham. You know what? He can still feel pain if he can't see. Oh. Joe, that is wood meeting steel and not me. And there's no Look gift. at LaRusso in the background. Well, look how happy they are. I love to see a happy Chris LaRusso, and, and I think I like to see a happy Ron Mathis. You can tell. A happy Chris LaRusso is usually an obnoxious Chris LaRusso. Now, that's just uncalled for. Where's your professionalism? Well, how I see it. I know why Marion Fontaine doesn't like that. Marion Fontaine doesn't like anybody here. Wait, pa Palace inside cradle! Two and no, Pell still having vision issues, but he can feel the body of Mathis, and Mathis just absolutely sent Pellis for a loop in midair. Two! And you gotta you gotta wonder what this is doing to the psyche of Andrew Pallas. He can't see, he can't defend himself. He's been in a brawl, he's been hit from all sides. LaRusso's out here, Fontaine is out here. It's almost like the walls are closing in on Andrew Pallas's title reign. Well, it takes out the one sense that you need, and that's your sight, especially when you're in there with Ron Mathis. But, Joe, have you ever fought a blind guy? No, I've not fought it's, a blind it guy. It is incredibly beneficial when you have sight. I mean, I give credit to Ron Mathis there to, to take the sight away from Andrew Palace. His vision is certainly not 2020 at this point. No, no kidding. Mathis, the chin lock. I'm more concerned with Lendo having an air pressure. Although, I guess. I don't know if you smell these people on a regular basis, but whoo! You know, I didn't know failure had a smell. Palace, I believe that's a freshener used for around the ring and ringside at the conclusion of the event. Palace now scooped up in a power slam. There's a cover, two count only there. Palace showing the gumption of a champion and Mathis. Again, just mad at the world. But Mathis doesn't want to get himself disqualified. The Russo may have to give him the, 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 the heave ho on that as far as arguing with the referee, and that what, gives more time to Andrew Pallas. What kind of a premier champion would Ron Mathis make? 
Well, Joe, like I said, it's not going to be suits. I don't think there's going to be a ticker tape parade. I, I, I don't think uh, we're going to have the, the state of premiere address by Ron Mathis. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit unorthodox. You could have the Cougars as your tag team champion. You could have Ron Mathis as your premier champion. I do not envy you. I don't envy Andrew Palace right now either. And tomorrow with Gory contesting for the welterweight title, good God, that, that paints a very, very frightening picture. As Palace now trying to fight free from Mathis' grasp, but he takes him down. And Palace gonna, oh, take a chance, but Mathis won't let him. Uppercut. Good stuff, good stuff. Mathis just absolutely rocked Palace, and you can see Palace on the, just sitting on the, on the ring post. That can't be pleasant. Palace in a lot of pain right now. Not sure where he is. His vision is impaired. I was going to say, Palace isn't going to be 2020 vision wise for this entire matchup. I mean, you get that. There's chemicals in those air fresheners that, that aren't really meant to. Oh, jeez. Biting Palace. What the hell must Murray and Fontaine think about all this? That's Mathis. That's Palace elevated. Finally slam. God. This could do it. Two count only. Palace, showing some life. And did you hear LaRusso giving that extra direction? He he screamed, Ron, go make the pin, go make the cover. That, that, that's impressive by Chris LaRusso, that he can have the wherewithal to, to, to be the good coach on the outside. You know, every every good fighter needs needs that motivation, needs that good corner man. Let me ask you, what does it mean for you with Ron Mathis as the champion? I have no idea. I don't know how to control this guy. I don't know how to communicate with this guy. He won't listen to reason. LaRusso doesn't care to listen unless it benefits him. Joe, it sounds like you might need to make a few concessions. And I don't mean the hot dog that you refused me earlier. Palace is trying to fight here. Sent Mathis into the edge of the... Oh, Palace gonna going to give Mathis a receipt from earlier. But Mathis fighting. Move. Oh, wait a second. No! Oh! God. That is disgusting. The, the, the looks of discomfort from these fans. Nothing compared to, to how Palace must be feeling. The kidneys first. And Joe, the guardrail didn't move. That means all that grunt, all that force went directly onto the back of Andrew Palace. You see Palace with the fall away off the top rope there. I, I don't know how much more his back has left. We know he can't see at this point. Mathis is, well, you know, what goes on inside the head of Andrew Palace? Or, excuse me, of, well, that's a good question, too. But what goes on inside the mind of Ron Mathis? I mean, he's got this match in control. He needs to, to stay focused. Well, I think a lot of what goes on. Oh, wait, Palace! The shotgun drop kick! Palace's feet almost went through Mathis's mind that time. And LaRusso looks like he's seen a ghost. Just when you think Andrew Palace has one foot in the grave, he comes back. That's the and what is going through that man's mind? Palace showing the heart and determination of a champion, and Fontaine looks as unimpressed as he could be. Well, Fontaine may be at a loss for words. That's really all you can see when you got Ron Mathis in there laying out the destruction and mayhem that he's so used to. Oh, jeez. You know, I would say that Ron Mathis doesn't look quite right, but but that's really an understatement. In and out of the ring. Couple of right crosses from Palace as Mathis days. And Palace slips up behind and hits a backcracker. Mathis in trouble. Champion rallying back now. The neck across the knee. The near fall. I, I think LaRusso almost had a coronary on that. He just, now what is LaRusso doing? Well, I believe he's trying to let the official know that Ron Mathis uh, may need a, a slight, a momentary lapse. Just, just, just take a second. The, you know, the, the two counts were a little bit quick. And LaRusso creating a diversion for Palace and this official. LaRusso's buying time for Mathis because LaRusso can sense Mathis is in big trouble. And here comes Mathis. Again, the strength in numbers. Oh, no, 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 we've seen this many times at Tombstone. Joe, it's over, new champ. We got a new champ, no! Palace escapes, and Mathis is in shock. 
Short of the 82nd Airborne, what do you have to do to put Andrew Palace away? I don't have an answer for you. I mean, that's certainly what Ron Mathis, I'm sure four of the, the voices in his head are asking that right now. Mathis is mad at the world, but all the complaining in the world is not going to reverse the decision. Ron Mathis has a crazy look and like more than usual. This doesn't bode well for Andrew Palace's premier championship or his career for that matter. And Mathis has the premier championship. That's not yours. And LaRusso is explaining if Mathis uses this, he'll be disqualified. He won't win the championship. LaRusso's trying to be the voice of reason. Mathis has lost his mind. He doesn't even care. Palace the roll up. Two count only. And now, Hurdy and Driver! Hurdy and Driver connects! Palace has done what? Joey kicked. Mathis found a way out of the Hurdy and Driver. Two and 99 one hundredths does not equal a three count. And, it, well, we may need oxygen for Crystal Russo at this point. And what's going through the mind of Palace realizing the move that 99 times out of 100 signals the end. This was that 100th time. Well, look at he, He's looking around. He doesn't know. Oh, well, wait a minute. He say he doesn't know what to do, but he seems focused on something. Well, Russo is dangerously close to Palace's championship. Wait, wait, wait a second. It, it's... Palace looking at the championship. This is a look at Andrew Palace. I haven't normally seen in those eyes as Andrew Palace snapped. Has Andrew Palace gotten desperate here? Well, that's what Ron Mathis brings out of you when you're in that squared circle with him. Mathis is driving Palace near the edge. Will Palace go over that edge? With Marion Fontaine watching, critical look on his face. Palace has a decision to make. Oh, come on. And Palace lost it. Mathis pulled Palace's pump card, and Palace has snapped. Mathis is down, and LaRusso is down. Andrew Palace has lost his mind here. He's been disqualified. Mathis will win. But I don't think Palace gets it down. He's seeing red. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout as a result of a disqualification, Ron Mathis. And what's going through that man's mind? His first taste of seeing the premier champion up close and in person. Palace loses via disqualification. Does that add fuel to the fire of Marion Fontaine's doctrine about him being superior to this generation? Well, you know, I don't know what Marion Fontaine's thinking. I don't know what Chris LaRusso's thinking. I never know what Ron Mathis is thinking. But I may know what's going through the mind of Andrew Palace. We just saw something completely different. Ron Mathis gets the win, but unfortunately does not get the championship. But this is a huge deal for Ron Mathis because he, on paper, in the books, Ron Mathis has defeated the premier champion and more to that story, breaking this down, Mathis has defeated Palace psychologically. Mathis has gotten inside Palace's head. As the director of wrestling operations, Mathis beating the champion, he's going to deserve a return matchup. You know LaRusso's going to be petitioning for him Monday morning, but can Palace survive a return matchup? Can Palace survive the mind games of Ron Mathis again? What if Mathis can Continue to get in that head of Andrew Palace, that Andrew Palace is not long for the Premier Championship. The bottom line is, Ron Mathis beats the Premier Champion here tonight, but the championship will be only a formality. Premier Champion, Andrew Pallet.